The data below shows the temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit and pace in minutes per mile of a runner who typically runs at an 8 minute per mile pace. So this table is telling us as the temperature increases, the pace, so it takes them longer to run a mile. So what we're going to do is find the linear correlation coefficient using a calculator. So I'm going to show you a couple different kinds of calculators of how to find this. They must be two variable calculators or this won't work. So the first one I'll show you is the one that I actually prefer, which is TI-30XS. Because it gives you tables and it's really nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I want to put all the data in. So I'm going to hit data. And so in the first one, first column is going to be list one. So that's going to be all the temperatures, so 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. Okay, then scroll to the right to get the second list in there. So with the 50 is the 8, 8.2, 8.5, 9.1, 9.5. Okay, so once you type in all of the list. At this point, you're going to hit second data because you want to activate the stat part of this. So hit second data. And this time we have two lists, so we're going to do two variable stats. Okay, so x data is in L1, y data is in L2. So just go down to calculate. And scroll down a little bit until you find R. Okay, so R is about 0.969. Okay, so that's one type of calculator that you can use. That one works, I think, the best. Another type of scientific calculator you can use is the TI-30X2. You're going to kind of start out the same way, but you have to make sure that the stat mode is activated. So if you notice right now, the only thing that is highlighted is DEG for degree. So I need to hit second data to activate the stat. And then we're going to do two variables. So to scroll over to two, hit enter. So now you can see the FTAT. Is listed. So I'm going to go back into my data now and just type in everything. So x1 was 50. When you go down, it's going to ask for y1, which is 8. Okay, then 60, 8.2, 70, 8.5, 80, 9.1, 9 and 85 is 9.5. So once you put everything in, then you're just going to hit the button that's next to data, so F-T-A-T-B-A-R, and then scroll to the right until you find R. Okay, so same thing, 0.969. Okay, so that's how it works in that calculator, and then let me show you a graphing calculator in case you got one of those. So the first thing you want to do is put your list in, so you're going to hit stat, and you want to edit your list. So list 1 is going to go all the temperatures. And then in lift 2 is going to go to pace. Okay, so to figure out what the correlation coefficient is, you're going to go back into your stat mode. Go over to calculate. And you're going to look for lin reg, which is linear regression. So hit enter. So x is L1, y is L2. And there's R. Okay, so any way you do this, R is going to be 0.969. Okay, so keep in mind that R is always between negative 1 and 1, where negative 1 and 1 are strong relationships. Okay, what we've determined that in general, if you have between 0.8 and 1, or between negative 0.8 and negative 1, you have a pretty strong relationship, linear relationship. So 0 0.969 is in that, um, 0.8 to 1. So this is a strong, and then this is positive, linear correlation. Okay, so this is a pretty strong relationship. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is find the equation of the regression line. 
This also comes from your calculator, so I already have everything put in, so I'm just going to show you how to find it. So starting with the TI-30XS, if you go back into the stat and two variables, you're going to look for A and B. So it's scrolling all the way down. I found that A is equal to 0 0.042 and B was 5.732. See in the other calculator. So again, if I go into STATVAR, again, all the data is already in here. Scroll over until you find A and B. Same numbers. And then in your graphing calculator, it's already there once you hit Lin regression. So A and B. Now within the graphing calculator, it actually tells you what these represent. So this is of the form y equals ax plus b. In other words, a is going to be your slope, b is your y-intercept. Okay, so the equation of this line is going to be y equals 0 0.042x plus 5.732. Okay, so now that we have the equation, we can find the best predicted running pace. Let's say you're given the temperature. Now keep in mind as you were plugging this in that list 1 represented x and list 2 represented y. So if you're given the temperature, then that means you're given x. So y is equal to 0 0.042 times 62 plus 5.732. Okay, so we get a pace of about 8.3. So it'll take about 8.3 minutes to run a mile. Okay, so let's say you're given the pace and you want to find the best predicted temperature. So this time you're given the y, we got to find x. So 8.8 .8 equals 0 0.042x plus 5.732. So a little bit of solving involved. To get x by itself, I need to subtract the 5.732. And I get 3.068. Still solving for x. Divide by 0 0.042. And so we find that x is about 73. So this is temperature. So this is degrees Fahrenheit.